What's up guys, I'm Shermal and today we are going to talk about what's in my camera bag. So first of all, let's talk about the bag itself. Uh, this is the Low Pro Protactic 450AW and this is not the version 2, this is the first version and what I love about this bag is the modular system it has where I can attach things to the outside of the bag. It comes with a bottle holder, a tripod holder and two straps with clips on and also a pouch like this. In the front I have the Ziontech monopod which came with the Ziontech VB Lab the gimbal I have and also the mini tripod I use. This is mostly used for vlogging and also uh, this is very small and convenient for me and it's also very hardy it's by a company called Ando I'm not sure whether I'm pronouncing the name right but this is actually a really good sturdy mini tripod and also on the outside I have attached an emergency light because this bag is always mounted on the back of the bike and when I'm riding in the night I like to put this light on so that other motorists could see me and the next thing I have attached is the carabiner here so I could attach my cap, my sunglasses or any other thing need to put it in a hurry. So I attach it on this. And I always carry a reusable water bottle mounted here. This is because I want to keep hydrated as well as minimize the amount of plastic I use when I travel. And on the side pocket, on top, I keep a cleaning cloth as well as a torch for emergency, especially when you're shooting in the night to look for stuff in the bag, this is very helpful. So the main camera I use is the Canon M50 and I have put a small rig cage on it. This helps me to mount the grips and handles I want to use when I'm shooting handheld. Also mount all the lights and the microphones I need. For optics, I have paired it with a Viltrox Speed Booster that allows me to mount the EF lenses onto this camera and with this it allows me to open up to a whole new range of lenses so most of the time the camera is paired with the 24 millimeters ef lens and this by default comes with a 2.8 aperture but because i'm using it with the viltrox speed booster this gives me a better aperture of 2 so it's really great in low light and also since this uh, lens is stabilized it's really great for me when i'm shooting handheld so the next lens I have in my camera bag is the 85mm. This is one of my favorite lenses and this is actually a very good bokeh machine and it really helps you to isolate uh, your subject when you're shooting. So for all my lenses I have put a UV filter on it because this is mostly for protection of the lens. When you're traveling you lug around your lenses and you get fingerprints and dust all over your lenses and every time you clean it you take a toll on the coating. Having a filter on it uh, actually helps you protect the lens and whenever the filter is damaged you just have to change the filter and not the lens and changing a filter is much more cheaper than changing a lens together. So the next two lenses I have in my camera bag is the Canon 75 to 300 millimeters and also the kit lens I got with the Canon M50 which is the 15 to 45 millimeter lens. Talking about the 75 to 300 lens I mainly use it for photography when I really need to zoom into something I use this lens and I got this for a low price of 19,000 rupees and what I get out of this is really bang for the buck. The next lens in my camera bag is the Canon 50mm, the Nifty 50. I love this lens because uh, once it's paired with the Viltrox Speed Boost, it gives me an aperture of uh, 1.2. So it's really great in low light. So next let's talk about the drone. Uh, so the drone I have is the Mavic Air. I love this drone because of its size. When you compare this to my iPhone 8, you can see the difference. It's really, really small and it's really convenient when you travel. When it folds up, it comes into this small footprint where you can just put it in your bag. And also the controller. Controller is made in such a way that it's very compact where the joystick knobs comes off and you can put it in. And as accessory for the drone, I also have this sunshade I got from eBay for like $2 where you can open up the controller and extend the flaps like that you just have to plug it in and this even though it's a very really cheap accessory it gives you a really good advantage when you get glare on the phone 
and when you're flying a drone you really have to keep an eye on where you're flying and when you're traveling size really matters because uh, packing up stuff into your bag it's really important when it's smaller and that's why I chose the VB lab uh, by Zion Tech it folds up to a size of an A4 and I have this quick release system on the grip so it's very easy for me to plug it in balance the gimbal with my camera then whenever I want to go for the underslung mode I just have to plug it up so I got the creator package for this and that's why I got the monopod and I use the monopod so that I can get some nice screenshots the other part I love about this gimbal is where you can lock all the hinges and this makes sure that once you put it in the bag it won't move around and damage itself or the other equipment that it rubs on I have the follow focus system for this as well but uh, I hardly use it because the dual pixel autofocus system in the Canon M50 is really great and when I really want to pull focus and get an artsy shot I use the follow focus but it takes a bit of time to uh, mount so I hardly use it when I'm traveling so audio is a vital part in video and uh, for this I use the Rode Video Mic Go to capture all the audio this is always on my camera when I'm vlogging and especially when I want to capture the ambient sounds I have also put a dead cat on it to uh, reduce the wind noise and when I'm stuck in a place where it's very windy or very noisy I use the clip-on mic which I have it on me uh, it's from a company called Boy I'll put the proper model number down below so the next thing in my camera bag is this little pouch and this carries a really vital component of my camera gear and it houses the ND filters ND stands for neutral density and I have variable neutral density filters so these are basically sunglasses for your lenses and this helps you to follow the 180 degree rule for shutter speed and since it's a variable ND filter I could uh, change the density of it and I don't have to carry on a lot of ND filters with me and uh, just one would help me and I have two of these one is the 58 millimeter and the other one you can see in here is the 49 millimeter these are the two sizes of lenses I have so I have two of those so the next thing in this pouch is the CPL filter this actually takes off the glare of reflective surfaces such as uh, water uh, even glass when you're shooting through glass this is really helpful and those are the three filters I carry around and for me this is very important to have when I'm shooting video so the next thing I have in my bag is this light it's a LED light got this from eBay for $15 and it's really convenient to have a light like this and since I mostly shoot in the day I hardly use this but when I need some extra light I use this uh, but I bounce this off of surfaces so that the harsh light won't hit the subject so this is really nice to have and it's really small and I have two batteries for this so each lasts you around half an hour so it's really great this is my battery pouch and I keep all the batteries the extra batteries in this this house the drone batteries my camera batteries as well as the light batteries so the Canon uses the LPE 12 so these are really small batteries and they die out really fast and you need extra batteries when you're shooting for a whole day and uh, what I like to do is I have numbers on each battery so I know which battery to charge and which is uh, dead and it's easy to keep track of uh, how many batteries I have left next in my camera bag is this power bank i like to carry because it's really convenient to charge my camera batteries the gopro batteries even my phone so i always carry this power bank with me keeping your gear clean when you're traveling is very important and i have this small pouch where it holds the air blower a small brush and some cleaning cloth and some wet wipes to wipe off lenses and all of that so it's really nice to have uh, all this stuff with you and uh, keeping your gear clean is very important and it prolongs the lifespan of your gear so when I travel I like to use a base system uh, so what I do is I don't carry everything that is in my camera bag everywhere so when I get to a hotel what I do is I uh, leave some stuff which I don't need for shooting so one of the most uh, heaviest and biggest things I leave is my laptop this is uh, a 2015 MacBook Pro 13 inch why I carry this is because uh, I like to back up all the footage and I also carry a hard disk and I recently changed into SSD this is a 500 GB Samsung SSD I have changed into this because uh, I feel more safer using SSD than an external hard disk because 
I always carry the camera bag in my bike on the back and shakes and jerks. So knowing that there aren't any moving parts that can be damaged in the SSD, give me a peace of mind. And this comes out whenever I'm going into the water. I carry these around because whenever I travel, I intend to get into pools or the sea or even, even rivers. And having this hooked up to the GoPro, it gives you a peace of mind knowing that the GoPro won't sink even if you let it go accidentally. The last thing in my bag is this box and I have a lot of things inside here. The most important thing I have in here is the GoPro Hero 6. This is the camera I use to take all the shots when I'm riding and I'm actually planning on buying another action camera. We need another camera to get all the angles we need when we are riding. But the problem is I'm still designing on which camera to buy because DJ have released a new action camera, the Osmo Action. But I am really interested to see what uh, GoPro comes up with. Uh, I'm sure they will uh, release the GoPro Hero 8 in September so I most probably wait till they release it to see what options they give and choose then. So I'll let you guys know what I decide on. So the next thing in this box is this uh, little action camera I got for 4000 rupees. Uh, it's by Yi. Uh, it's called Yi Action Camera. It came with this selfie stick and it has the Bluetooth remote also. My wife mostly uses these two together and when we are riding she takes the shots. This is not the greatest camera and the stabilization sucks in this but uh, for the amount of money I spent on it, it's really worth it. Next thing I have in here is the 360 time lapse timer. I use this with the GoPro and it gives you really nice shots. And also I have the follow focus motor for the Zhiyun VB lab in here. I hardly use this uh, because as I said before the Canon M50 autofocus is really great. Other than that uh, this has all the clips for the GoPro, all the mounts, sticky pads and the knobs. So that's basically all the accessory that is needed for the GoPro in here. So other than that, in my luggage I like to carry a pouch. This holds all the cables on the top section and it's all nicely managed. So that is easy for me to take out what cable I need and put it back. And on the second section I have all the adapters. Talking about the adapters, uh, this universal power adapter comes really handy whenever I travel and whatever the power outlet you have in the hotel room, I can use it. So another thing in this pouch is this uh, USB charger. This has four ports, so even though if I have only one outlet in the hotel room, I can just plug this in and charge all my devices. This is really convenient and, uh, and also I have this GoPro 3-in-1 uh, charger and I always carry this in my bike. I mostly uh, pair this with my power bank. So when I'm traveling, I always have fresh batteries for the GoPro and it's very nice to know that uh, you can just keep on rolling while you're riding and you have enough power in your bag. If we have extra space, uh, we like to carry the Zion uh, Smooth Q. This is a mobile gimbal and whenever we can't lug the bigger guns, we, uh, we just put our mobile phone on this and get some shots we need. This is mostly kept at home, but if we have extra space, we always carry this. So that's it for what's in my camera bag 2019 and if you like this video please put a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. You can also hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Keep exploring and ride safe.